welcome this is Jit Dolak and you are watching its tomorrow news. Blizzards bring widespread disruptions to Rocky Mountainous area. A major storm that dumps snow throughout the Rocky Mountainous region in the United States has prompted a rare decision to close public schools in Salt Lake City, Utah. The blizzards caused extensive flight delays and traffic accidents shutting down stretches of highways in Utah and Wyoming on Monday. There was no accumulation of 46 cm in some parts of the Greater Salt Lake City area with more forecast to fall through the night. The nearly 23 cm that fell at the Salt Lake City International Airport broke a record for the day set back in 1936, the National Weather Service said. Flights that were delayed by over an hour. Many Utah school districts took the rare step of cancelling classes in what was the second snow. Day to Salt Lake City, Utah school district in nearly 20 years. Elsewhere, colleges, courts and government offices delayed opening. The Utah Highway Patrol said it responded to 257 crashes throughout the state. The snow closed long stretches of interstates 80 and 25 and other roads across central Wyoming where up to 30 cm of snow was forecast at lower elevation. The National Weather Service posted winter weather warnings for Wyoming including a blizzard warning for a stretch of Interstate 80 that could experience both heavy snow and wind gusts up to 88 km per hour. The storm also shut down some Wyoming schools, a community college and the local airport in the central city of Casper. In Colorado, the storm brought freezing drizzle and light snow to the populated Front Ridge region on Monday morning, a day after residents enjoyed temperatures in the low 20 degrees Celsius. The precipitation has now all turned to snow and is expected to continue through Tuesday along the front range and on to Colorado's northern mountains. The storm is then forecast to move into the south central US and then eastern part of the country later this week, the National Weather Service said. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jeet Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.